Okay. Okay, so welcome to this uh, value added course on medical techniques. And um, these are these courses, intention of these courses is to have an advanced uh, level of understanding to the students apart from your regular course, regular subjects that you are studying uh, throughout your course uh, during either second semester or fourth semester. So uh, let me share my PPT with you. Mm. Okay, so it will be a very short five, uh, 10 minute lecture. So yeah i hope you can see my this one let me take three screenshots uh, can you please turn on your camera students uh, please turn on the cameras i will take only one or two screenshots that's it keshav opened nandini sony very good thank you so yes sangeeta shraurab yes thank you students let me take screenshot of your photos I think Kesho is happy. Mm. One second. <clears throat> uh, I know it's Sunday classes. Uh, oh, okay, Neo also came today. Very good. Yes, Neo also good student. Very good, Neo. Who is this? Hina. Okay, good. Hina, Sangeeta, Sony, Heather. Sangeeta, these are the sixth semester. It's been a long time. On seeing the students. Mm. Okay, so I will hint also. <laughs> okay, who is this Mohammed? Okay, without spats. <laughs> mm. All right, anyway, uh, let me take my class. <laughs> I must deviate if I see you basis. Mm. Okay, so yes, students. Um, so, so far we discussed about uh, this flow cytometry and hemocytometry. So we already know that the hemocytometry is for counting blood cells or any cells can be detected by this hemocytometry. Then uh, we are discussing about uh, this uh, flow cytometry. Flow cytometry already, you know, cells will be detected at a rapid speed. That is the flow cytometry technique. And now chromatography. So I will tell about chromatography, really interesting technique. So I hope you can see my screen, right? Can you able to see the, my PPT? I hope you can. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, see students, so this is the scientist. So he is the founder of this technique called chromatography, okay? So his name is uh, Michael Sweat. I think he's Russian or German. So what he did is he's studying cells and one day he, he's a botanist actually, okay? He is uh, studying plants. So what happened? He went to the his garden and he took one plant and what he did is he smashed the plant and he, uh, he added that plant water. Okay, he smashed the plant in a water and he added that that water in a paper actually. Okay, he took a cello tape or a cellophane or, um, filter paper and he kept a drop of that plant extract on this paper. And something very interesting phenomenon <coughs> happened. Okay, so he hanged this paper in a chamber that has some water in it. So he kept, uh, he contacted the paper with a water and this is the plant extract. So the water started slowly absorbing in the paper, okay? This water absorption in paper happened because of capillary action, okay? Because of this capillary action, water started slowly absorbing into this paper. Now, he observed something really interesting phenomenon. After two to three hours of this uh, separation, what he observed is the he started identifying some colored lines. So he saw some colored lines. Can you see here? Uh, light green, dark green, some yellow and uh, a red color or orange color. So he saw these colors and he said that somehow this plant has these four chemicals. This plant green color is composed of these four chemicals and he named them as chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotene. He suspected that these are some important biochemicals present in this plant. Hence, he kept this procedure as chromatography. Okay, chroma means color, graphy to write, writing of colors. And this changed the field of biochemistry forever. This is one of the groundbreaking discovery in the field of biochemistry. The reason is these are the components that are very small. These components are not visu uh, visualized by the normal eyes. These are atomic components actually. But now, today we know a technique to separate these components. And one of the technique is 
a piece of paper you take a piece of paper add the sample keep under water and water will separate the molecules such an interesting phenomenon so yes this is the birth of a new field called separation techniques separation techniques in biochemistry so now we can have, we got an idea of how to separate the biomolecules so today we we can able to separate whatever biomolecule we want in the sample based on this early techniques called chromatography okay so uh, as we know that science you know through time it will become complica complicated so now we have some specific standards of separating these molecules so there are certain terms the terms are we to separate any molecule we need two things one is a stationary phase stationary phase means this is a phase that won't move at all say for example this paper paper is a stationary phase okay and it need a mobile phase that will move the components so the mobile phase will be the water so this mobile phase will get in contact with the stationary phase and it will start moving out the sample so during this process the sample will be get separated so these are the components of an ideal chromatography you need a stationary phase a paper you need a mobile phase a water and you need a sample obviously once you get in touch with them and they will start separating okay now based on this simple technique we got a many branches and many divisions of this uh, separation techniques okay rather than using paper if we are using gel then that is called as gel chromatography rather than uh, if you keep this gel in a test tube in a in a cylindrical tube then it will become column chromatography if you are rather than using water if you are using gas to separate the molecules then that is called gas chromatography i will give you one best example of gas chromatography i hope you all know that uh, uh, you know this uh, uh, drink and drunk and drive cases so if you uh, if you drink some alcohol and if your if a uh, traffic police catch you he will make you to blow in that machine right so if you blow your air into that uh, machine that machine will detect whether you have consumed consumed alcohol or not that machine is detecting by gas chromatography technique actually okay the idea is in that gas that machine has some gas and uh, in your mouth you have this uh, aerosols this alcohol uh, uh, molecules are there now this alcohol molecules will move through that gas chamber now that gas chamber will trace out whether alcohol molecules present in the patient or not in the in the receiver or not okay so by that you can able to detect even gases through gas chromatography now we have some advanced chromatography where we are keeping some electricity so the molecules based on the charge they will be separated and that is called electrophoresis okay and uh, if you want to uh, separate the dna molecules then that is called uh, gel electrophoresis okay the the page okay polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis page sage uh, all these uh, these are the various chromatographic techniques okay and one of the advanced chromatographic is uh, uh, hplc okay high pressure liquid chromatography it can able to separate the nanoscopic molecules in the sample okay uh, say for example uh, i want to separate my t3 hormone from t4 hormones okay t3 and t4 are very similar hormones right so the t3 and t4 are very similar that's why they have same namings okay one has a three molecules one has four molecules we can even separate that close uh, closely resembling molecules with the help of this chromatography so chromatography is really an advanced and most feasible efficient uh, uh, technique of separating the biomolecules okay so yeah these are the various methods of chromatography okay uh, ideally all we need is a piece of paper a jar and a water and a sample that's it okay, take a paper keep some sample get in contact with water seal it in a chamber wait for 2 hours you will get your molecule separated okay so this is all the idea about uh, chromatography so <clears throat> there are few formulas that we can apply uh, to to know the the molecule size shape charge and other properties molecular weight okay so those formulas we will discuss in the next sessions so as of today we learned that chromatography is one of the best technique for separating the biomolecules so this is all about the chromatography
um, maybe in the next sessions we will discuss in detail about chromatography. Meanwhile, I will share you the notes and you can go through the notes. Um, as I stated, there will be two quizzes and two one page assignments. I'm telling again, please don't write lengthy assignments. I don't want it. Just to two one page assignments and two simple quizzes. Ten, maybe some 20 questions per quiz. Even I will give you the answer keys also. You need to go through the question and answers and you will attend the quiz, okay? I will give you the quiz timings, dates, everything to you. Uh, eventually, maybe within two days, I will complete all these works and I will give you. And my only request from your end is, please finish the quizzes and assignments to get your certificates. They are the proof that you have attended these classes. The only proof I have to claim your certificates to you is your quizzes and assignments. I'm not going to torture you. It will be a simple quiz and one page assignment only. Finish them and I will give you certificates. Okay. I got almost 120 registrations, but unless and until you are submitting me the data, I cannot give you the certificate. Okay. So please uh, be vigilant in this work. Um, I won't disturb you. I won't give you uh, heavy works, very simple works I will give. Please finish it. All you need to do is two quizzes and two assignments, that to one page assignment. I need them. That's it. Okay. So, yes, that's it, students. Uh, thank you very much. You can leave. You can leave for today. Thank you very much. Please write your thank name. You, write your yes. <clears throat> Sir, quizzes are online. Everything online only, don't worry. Yes. Okay, awesome. thank you. You can leave here, the class over now, you can leave. <laughs> 